All right, welcome back. Uh, hopefully you did this problem here. Let's go ahead and do it together. We're going to find the x-intercept first. And the x-intercept is when we plug in 0 for y. So we get 6x plus 7 times 0 equals 42. Or 6x equals 42. Or x equals 7. So there's 1 point 7 comma 0. We're going to mark that. Bum, bum, 7, 0. Uh, or, or then, we find our y-intercept, which is when we plug in 0 for x. This is 6 times 0 plus 7y seven time, uh, seven equals 42. 7y equals 42, so y equals 6. So there's my second point, 0, 6. So I mark that. And that's my line. Connecting the dots. There we go. Got a line. Again, if you've got questions on this, make sure you address your teacher. Let's move on to our last example where we do it in context now. So we're planning to help at an awards banquet for my school, and I need to rent tables to seat 180 people. Okay, Tables come in two sizes. Small tables seat four people and large tables seat six tape people. So the first thing we need to do is create an equation that models this situation. Well, think about our situation. We've got four seaters plus six seaters, right? And if we're thinking about how many total people we're going to seat, right, that's got to sit the total amount of people. Well, I've got 180 people. I can fit six per six-seater table or four per four-seater table. So if I had two four-seaters, I would have eight people there. Or uh, three, I would have 12 people. Four, I'd have 16 people. It sounds like I'm always going to be multiplying some number by four, right? Because it's going to be four times the number of four-seater tables. So I don't know the number of four-seater tables, Oops. Uh, but I know that I'm going to have some amount x, so I can just take four times x. Well, the same thing over here, but I'm going to have six-seater tables instead. So this would be six times the number of six-seater tables, which is what we'll call the y value. Uh, so this would be the number of six seater tables. Uh, so there's my equation. There's my situation that represents this, right? Four times the number of four seater tables plus six times the number of six seater tables tells me the exact number of combination of four and six seater tables that I need to seat 180 people. Uh, so there I've got my equation. Now part B says find the x-intercepts. So actually it says what do the x-intercepts mean in this case? Well, if I were to say that x equals 0, what does that mean? That means that I have no four-seater tables. And a y equaling 0 would mean I have no six-seater tables. So what do they mean in context? Well, it's the situation where I only go with four-seaters or six seaters. Uh, whatever I'm doing, like I'm saying that there's zero of this type and this many of the other, the situation of the intercepts is that I'm only using one or the other. So then my last one here is to graph the equ equation. So we're going to use that formula that we came up with, 4x plus 6y equals 180, and we're going to find the y-intercepts. So we're going to plug in uh, 0 in for x and get 4 times 0 plus 6y equals 180, which is 6y equals 180. And we are going to divide by 6 and get, uh, what is that, 30, I think, right? Uh, so ooh, I've got, a, I've got a point here, 0, 30. I'd better re relabel this graph, right? Uh, maybe let's go up by, by, by tens, maybe? Let's go up by tens. So that's 10, 20. 30, 40, 50. So my y-intercept is going to be right there because that's going to be 30. Uh, do the same thing for the x-intercept. y equals 0. Uh, this is 4x plus 6 times 0 equals 180. 
or 4x equals 180, or divide everything by 4, I get 180 divided by 4. Uh, so my x equals, uh, let's see here, 160 divided by 4 is 40, but I do that 5 more times, so that's 45, I believe. So my other point is 45 comma 0. So again, let's go by 10s, 20, 30, 40, 50, which puts 45 right there. And there we go. All right, and that is everything here. Uh, make sure if you've got questions, again, you come and contact your teachers. But that's it for this lesson. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day.